Hello everybody, this is Sinue Montoya with Drone Quote, and today's tutorial will go over how to draw a roof report or how to create a roof report with the Drone Quote Measure tool. The first thing you're going to want to do is select the Drone Quote Measure tab at the top of your screen. Next, you'll see this screen here populate. Click on Create a New Design and select the image that you would like to upload. Ideally, this image will be an an ortho mosaic image. Once you've uploaded your image, as you see here that I've done so, you'll want to start by clicking on the image. Now here, let's go over a few of the options available for you. At the top, you'll see your zoom functions. Uh, you could use your mouse or use a little tab. I prefer to use the mouse. Now in the top left corner, you'll notice that there's a magnifying glass that'll allow you to see in greater detail what it is you're looking at. And the more you zoom in, the easier it is for you to move around accurately on that section of the image. Whereas if you zoom way out, you'll notice it's a lot jumpier. If you hold the space bar, you'll notice that your cursor will turn into a little hand and that will allow you to move around the image by using the mouse. All right, And that's important because if you don't hold down the space bar and you click, you'll actually create a node. Now since we're here, let's start drawing. The first node is always going to be pink. All the nodes thereafter will be green. And if you notice that created our first section of roof. Now I'll click on an existing node here. And if you notice, if I hover over an existing node before I complete the roof section, it'll turn red and that'll allow me to move that node to an existing node on the previous roof. And you'll notice that my roof section is not complete until I go back to the original node or the starting point node. You'll also notice that there, the lines are not at a 90 degree angle as is true to the roof. That is an update that we're working on so you'll see that come through within the next week or two. And if you notice on that last roof section there, I added that node to an existing point in that line. You're free to do that wherever you need to. All right, now that my roof sections are drawn, I'm going to go to my tool section here. And you'll notice I have different options to choose from on the right here. I'm going to start with this skylight that you see here on the roof. Only one skylight, so now let's go into the circular vents. I'll use the undo function here. And I think that's it for vents. The measure line feature is nice because it gives you a measurement from anywhere on the roof you'd like to get measurements for. So for example here, this vent to the ridge and if you notice it's not drawing in a free manner so you hit the F button or the F key and that'll let you draw a free line. So that gives me a measurement from this vent to the ridge and let's go from this skylight to the eave and then we're also going to add the MSP which stands for main service panel I know that on this home it's located right there and I'm gonna rotate the words around this matter here and then let's call out this satellite dish right here with a custom label So now the edit function will let me delete some sections if I'd like or edit sections here. So for example, let's say on this roof here, I wanted to add a note about this particular section of roof. 
I click on it and I'm gonna write I don't know let's say it's facing 120 degrees hundred and twenty degree orientation on that roof that's a special note for whatever reason I don't know you can put in whatever you want and I also want to get the details of the main service panel here and we're gonna write um, I don't know a 125 amp uh, service panel and we can change the orientation by typing in a degree here so 125 now let's go 20, 15, let's leave it, let's leave it there. And then we're going to go to labels. Now in the label section is where we're going to call out the different parts of the roof. So you'll notice that you have main labels is a solid line and additional labels is a dotted line. What that means to you is that I know that here on this section of roof, if I use a magnifying glass, I could see that there is a rain gutter all right and I also know that because I was out at the house so I know that there was rain gutters on that section of the house there and then here and other parts of the house so we're gonna call this an eve first because it is an eve and then we're gonna go to additional labels and click on gutter and you'll notice it's a green dotted line and a solid orange line thereby identifying two sections of roof on the same uh, line if you will let's finish off this roof whoops I'm gonna undo that and go back to main labels Eve I'm sorry that's not an Eve that's a ridge so you know if I just go over it again and call it what it is there aren't any hips there's a valley here And you know what? I don't like that new label section right here. So I'm going to go back to edit real quick and delete it. Going to add gutters around the section of a home where I know they exist. And you'll notice that, I'll, like I mentioned earlier, it'll turn that solid line into a dotted line with the additional label that is being called out. I missed an Eve over there so I go back to main labels select Eve and there's my roof. Alright so this roof is done typically we would call out additional measurements here but for the sake of this example I'm not going to do that. Now for the slope let's say we don't know what the slope of the roof is. What you do is when you're out flying your drone you want to fly as close to the ridge as possible as you see in this example and then I will select top point and bottom point and when I say as close to the ridge as possible I mean at the same height as the ridge or as close to that as possible so that you don't get any distortion on your on your pitch in this case, it's a 412 slope. We hit OK, and that's going to automatically select the 4 over here, right? It's not going to populate your entire roof sections with that slope because there may be other sections of roof that are not 412. So you'll want to have an image for those as well if you don't know the slope. Or if you already know the slope of the roof throughout the entire roof, then you obviously don't need to do this, the new slope from image function. You would just select your slope here and then go about filling it in. And now, finally, we're going to go to dimensions. Now, the thing about dimensions is when you're out flying, you're going to want to lay out a reference measurement. Okay? Now, the reference measurement is what you're going to use to scale the entire image. In this case, I, I flew this project and I forgot to set up my reference measurement. Um, I actually realized that I forgot to set up the reference measurement after I took my picture. So, what I did is I measured from this crevice in the concrete of the driveway to this crevice here and I know that that's 16 feet so we're going to select draw measure line and I'm going to zoom in to be as accurate as possible and boom 
16 feet, set. That's going to auto populate all of my measurements throughout. And that's what's going to actually give me my calculations for the, the entire roof. So now we can go to preview. And I can see here on the right what kinds of measurements are throughout the entire roof by the kind of roof that's uh, by the kind of label that's that's on the roof. And then finally, we'll go to report. The name of your file, it's going to be the same as whatever you named it at the beginning. So typically, I name it by the customer name. And then I put in our company's phone number. Where whoever is reading this, the customer will then have my phone number populated in the roof report. So whenever they look at it, they know who created this roof report. Now, with this information here, um, we know that the total surface area of the roof is about 2,200 square feet right here. There are seven slopes, your waste factors, uh, and that in regards to accuracy, I know some of you may be wondering how accurate this is. You know, there's always going to be some degree of, uh, of uh, margin of error, if you will, and that margin of error, error is going to really come from the reference measurement that you input. So if your reference measurement is off, your measurements are going to be off. So you want to make sure that you get as close, as accurate as a, a reference measurement as possible. Here I could see the, the pitch scale, so the entire pitch throughout the roof, followed by the labels with measurements. Now, if you notice, here's the reference measurement, excuse me, here's the measurement for uh, the skylight to to rake and from this vent to the ridge. Here are our uh, surface area measurements by roof section. And then I'm gonna hit save. That's gonna allow me to download the roof report. It downloads as a PDF. And again, same information. Now in PDF format, I can send it to the customer and hopefully collect uh, payment. Well, if you're doing it right, that is. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a walkthrough of the Drone Quote Measure tool. Uh, I am Sinue Montoya. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to reach out to us at uh, the following address, info at dronequote.net. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.